My friend Jacqueline and I crave adventure, and we got our fix on this trip. This is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been, and planning a successful trip is key. But despite all my preparation, we almost got stuck overnight with no place to stay. Stay tuned, I'll tell you all about how to enjoy Catalina Island. I am an adventure junkie, so hit subscribe to come along for the ride. And to all of those who hit the like button, thank you so much. Santa Catalina Island is located in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of California near Los Angeles. There are two main ports on the island, Avalon and Two Harbors, and they are like night and day. Avalon is very developed with resorts, restaurants, mini golf, and even cruise ships can dock there, while Two Harbors is much more rustic with only one general store, one bar, one restaurant, and one lodge. We took the Catalina Express Ferry, which leaves from three locations, Long Beach, San Pedro, and Dana Point. When I go hiking, I like to feel like I'm the only one out there. So we decided to go to the more rustic Two Harbors location. I woke up at 6 a.m. and met with Jacqueline so we could ride together to San Pedro. Okay, so now what? Uh, uh, Press the button. Oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're here. Time to um oops. <laughs> time to check out the port. Off we go. My most important tip is to pay very close attention to time. Because we wanted to go to two harbors for just the day, we only had six hours on the island. If you are not back by 4.45 p.m., you will miss the ferry. There is no other ferry, so you would be stuck for the night. It almost happened to us because of a slight error, which I'll tell you about later. We wanted to go on a nice long hike, but not be rushed. So I looked for something around six to eight miles. After looking at some trails online, I couldn't find one that I liked, so I set out to design my own. I wanted to walk along the mountain ridge so I could get a 360 degree view of the ocean and also along the coast so I could get an up close look at the shoreline. I originally wanted to do this loop to Parsons Landing, but it would take about 14 miles and with only six hours, it'd be a huge rush. I decided we'd go up to the Trans Catalina Trail and then use Howland's Water Tank Road to cut back to West End Road. It's only seven miles. Yeah, that's gotta be it. So it's, we're, we're, we're close. It's we're really in the, beautiful. It's yeah. like we're in the Mediterranean. Yeah. Wow. One of the most beautiful sights of the ocean I think I've ever seen. Now let's go for a swim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy with my choice. This is one of the most beautiful hikes I have ever been on.
chair. I brought um, a cliff bar and Jacqueline made a quiche. <laughs> Show us your quiche, Jacqueline. Oh, wow. I'm a little soggy oh now, but. God. She's like, oh, a quiche sounds perfect on top of a trail. <laughs> and a freaking cloth napkin. <laughs> we got Martha Stewart over here. And that's where the fun ended. <laughs> we realized we had hiked way too far. All right, we just realized that we went way too far and we only have two hours to get back to the ferry. I do not think we're gonna make it. So either we're staying here tonight or there's maybe another ferry, but wish us luck. Here's what happened. We were supposed to take Howland's water tank road back to West End Road. So I was on the lookout for Howland and we passed a sign that said water tank road, but I had only remembered the word Howland. So when we passed Water Tank Road, Jacqueline said, is this it? And I was like, nope, nope, we're looking for Howland. Well, we ended up at that red star. So this was the 14 mile loop we did not have time for. So was it my fault or can I blame the signage? Let me know in the comments. We found a grassy shortcut and hustled down to West End Road, but it became clear our only chance at getting back to the ferry on time was to get a ride from someone. We only saw one car pass us the entire time and he was headed in the opposite direction. We begged him to take us. All right, we, we uh, hitchhiked and the guy needs to turn around. So we're hoping he comes back. If he does, we'll make it. If he doesn't, wow. we're not gonna make it. But let's just hope uh, Andrew Jackson can change his mind, eh? eh? 30 minutes went by and there was no sign of the car. Jacqueline kept saying everything would be okay. I kept imagining sleeping outside in the cold. On the bright side, we saw two Catalina Island foxes on our walk. Then, with only 20 minutes to spare, we heard a car. We're in the car. We're what's, gonna make what's it. Your name? Andrew. Andrew. Andrew saved the freaking day. So we're gonna hopefully get back on time and barely make it. We thought we were in for the night. So that actually wouldn't have been that bad. We had come to the decision that that was gonna actually be fun. We Barely, barely made it back. Five minutes to spare, so. Don't ever lose hope. There was no hotel, by the way, it's closed. So the only option was a campground and all I have is a long sleeve shirt and it's gonna be like 50 degrees tonight. So I don't we know what we would have done. We made it. We made it. We made it. Thank Lord. <laughs> wow, my trip to Catalina Island was amazing. Even the ferry ride is fun because you can see whales and dolphins. I hope this helps you plan your trip someday. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a like and hopefully you subscribe. I can't wait to share my future adventures with you. See you next time.